So now I use QuickTime Pro to get it good how I want it. That's how I want it. So I'm gonna move to a different space. I'm gonna right click, open with Life Type. So it's gonna open with Life Type. I need to go to Edit, Project Properties, and I'm gonna change the uh, pixels to how I want it to be. So now it's gonna do this, which is what I want. I'm gonna go File, Place Back on Movie, Desktop. I'm gonna choose my movie I have. There it is, bingo. So I got it. Now you see the quality is bad, that doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to Live Fonts. I'm gonna click Pro Series from the category pop-up menu. See, take some time. Life type is actually a pretty slow program. Then I am going to choose. Uh, you, you can choose a lot of them. You, I, I'm going to choose timer because it shows numbers, but you can also do, for example, uh, a flip count like this. But I'm just going to use timer. I'm going to click apply to new track. Then quickly before I continue, I'm going to move the the in and outs tool all the way to the end to make sure I export everything at the end. Then right here. Here my ex inspector, I'm gonna write my titles, I'm gonna write say 100 meters. What I'm gonna do is if the distance is 100 meters. Then I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm gonna select everything by just dragging over. I'm gonna put it into the corner. That's where I want it. So then this is about how long it'll be. It's about one second, the effect. However, then you see all of a sudden it shows 100 meters for like one frame and then it's gone. So I'm going to click it and then if inspector, I'm going to go to timing and then at the end I'm going to hold last. Hold it quite long. I'm just going to quickly scroll forward and see, let's see, it zooms in right about, well, perfectly where I have this. So basically I stop the 100 meters um, text when it's going to start zooming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it because I want the second text at the exact same position. Copy it, go over here, I'm just going to click Command V, pastes it. And then all I need to do is just, as you see here, move this back a couple frames, make reach the end, I'm going to go to text, I'm just going to make it 450 meters. Then if I show you from the beginning, I can play. There's this little effect, which shows 100 meters. A little further on, it does a little effect and shows 450 meters. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beginning, I'm going to click File, Render Movie, get on my desktop and call it Gun Sight Tutorial 2. Now, I'm not going to render background because my background is really low quality and I don't need to do that because I have the background already in. in um, in Final Cut Pro. So I need to make sure I do it between in and out points because otherwise it's See it only rendered the titles, which is not a problem, but it rendered in pretty good quality. So I'm gonna quit live type, I'm not gonna save. I'm gonna move over to my other space. Again, I'm gonna move this down, select my video, which is right here, drag it into my browser, open this, and then what I'm gonna do in Final Cut Pro, I'm going to right click in Timeline, add a new track, and I'm just going to simply drag this in and it's going to perfectly fit. Then I'm going to render it real quick. And now I have the gun scope and the 450 meters and the 100 meters effect. So let's play it back. And yeah, so there you go. Um, you can do pretty much the same thing just with the Photoshop part of it. You can just do two like uh, circles right next to each other to make binoculars and then just add a blur effect to make it look realistic. You can do a lot of stuff um, to it. It's just have some time mess messing.